Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to uh, to another um, video. So today we're basically going to do the art, <laughs> like an art video I guess. And we're going to do tiles. So we're going to make a map, a tile map, and we're going to basically print out all these tiles. Not all of them, but like some of them out on the screen. So what I did, or what I used to actually make a tile map is I used a software called Tiled Map Editor. This will allow you to uh, create a tile map. It's pretty cool. It's pretty convenient. Not not hard to use. So yeah, uh, it's also free. So uh, one out. Well, you can donate. Donating is good. Or you can just not. Um, and there's all these operating systems. So yeah. Um. Anyways, so this is what the, the tile map looks like, the editor, and it's actually create a file, of course you just go file new and then orthogonals, the one you want, isometric is um, kind of different, it's like a 2.5D perspective, and I went with the 50-50 tiles and 16 pixel width for each tile, and you get this, and with each new um, new new tile map you get like new tabs which is cool so yeah so once you're shown this you're going to um, click right here the uh, I guess the new tile set button and what I did was I just browsed and I went to where basically this is um, it's right there so for me it's in this path file um, select it, open it, and hit OK. And I kept the name the same, so Dragon Tiles Format, whatever, that's the same. I'll probably keep it the same as the, the name. I don't know if I have, yeah. So I'll keep it the same name as the, the name file. So the file of the name. Anyways, so after that you can just click on or select and drag and whatever. You can do that, you can do this, it's pretty cool, different tools, all that jazz. Um, but I don't need to do that, I have this, and something to note is, I have three different layers. The first layer that's going to be rendered is the solid layer, so everything on this layer is solid and the, uh, the user will interact and collide with this layer. I still have some images that I actually want to put to solid, but I'll work with that later. Then you have the, the layer one. This is just the um, basically what the player can walk on. So all these, all this right here is what the player can walk on. And in layer two, it's basically the aesthetics, just to make it look pretty. There's nothing really special about that layer. Um, in fact, this layer will actually be rendered like before the player or after the player. Or is like I know this layer is basically the last layer that's gonna be rendered onto the screen. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be in front of the player. It's gonna be cool. Um, so yeah, actually, hmm, make might make another layer, and you might see why in a minute. But let's go back to this. I actually need to edit some of this stuff because I don't like it. So we're going to remove that and go back to layer one or layer two or whatever. Remove that door from layer two and we're going to put that on layer one. So there's a door on layer one and I want the this back and I want to delete that chest. Ooh, that's on the solid layer. Delete the chest and I want the, the on the solid. So I'm going to do that for all the chest here. So the solid layer doesn't necessarily mean the layer which the player cannot pass through, but just basically means um, any object that will have, will interact with the player. So that includes chest, walls, and holes, I guess. And I can just oops, select the clone stamp or whatever. There we go. So that looks cool. Uh, so yeah. So that's my tile map. Yours might be different, or maybe, I don't know. So yeah, also to keep note is this little panel here, the properties. 
And you can see if we click uh, on this tile right here, basically the background tile, if we can move it to it, this background tile, keep in mind it's an ID of 171. But if you notice that the first tile is actually ID 0. So this is actually, um, if you go to on the scale of, of and so if you in, did not include the zero, this is actually 172. If this was one, not zero, then this would be 172. Just to keep in mind, that's how it starts from zero, not one. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so um, music's actually kind of getting loud for me anyways. Uh, I'm, I'm not worried with that. Anyways, so what you want to do is you want to go file, save as, and I'll just keep it as tile map, and that's my Linux. And I'll go to the actual this the C drive, the users, uh, my username, the idea of projects, save in private RAM, and this, and then tiles, and here I'll save it. So yeah, and then yeah, we can close it. So now there it is. We have this. We can can we copy? Yes, we can. Copy, just copy it. We just paste it in the same. Yeah, but with the name name it something else, and we're actually gonna give it a different file extension. So yeah, tile map, just like that, and we're presenting with this XML. So we're gonna be reading an XML file in the next tutorial, in the next video. So this is actually pretty cool. So here you have the the first layer, which is the solid layer, which is good, because this will be the last layer. Well, this will be the first layer that'll be rendered, but also the um, the the most back layer, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of 172s. So that's the, remember, that's actually 171 if you count from um, from zero. But since we're counting from one, we've got 172. And look at all these zeros. The zero basically means that um, there's no tile here. Uh, basically, there's nothing there, basically. So yeah, so it's kind of weird that way, but you can work with it. Um, we need, what's actually pretty important here with these tags is that uh, in XML, it's kind of like HTML, sort of, not really, but um, it uses tags and usually tags close in a in the name of the tag and, and uh, backslash, so yeah, just keep that in mind and everything, mostly everything here will be important. I don't think we have to delete anything, well it's probably this one. Uh, well, I won't worry about that actually, you know, sorry, we don't really need that, we don't need that. Probably need most of it though. Anyways, so yeah, this is a short tutorial, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. In the next one. Sounds weird. Oh, well.